Really? How does that taste good? Get back. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Got the new hat, rocking it out. Yes, right there it is. So, I'm gonna start building fence. We've got our H's have been set. We're all good, got the gates hung. We are ready to go. Now, we're gonna start stretching this actual fence. So, I'm gonna take my barbed wire after I get my measurements because our T-posts are six and a half foot tall T-posts. I've gotta measure out where do i want this barbed wire we're only doing five strands um because it's a cross fence we're just using it as part of our pasture rotation um i'm only doing five typically if we have an x if it's an exterior fence we're going to do at least six so i'm going to measure this out and then we're going to start with our bottom wire and we're going to stretch it all the way to here and see how it looks and then once i stretch the first line that is kind of my anchor point so from there that's where I'm gonna drive the T-post. And once I drive the T-post and it's set and we like it, then we will just start stretching. Boom, 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 boom. We'll get five strands pulled from this way and then we'll go five strands from that way after we get that first line stretched and get all the T-post in there. And this line, we will have a cross fence done. So, let me get started. We'll stretch our first barbed wire of 2021. Here we go. Checking everything out for me, making sure it's good. You're just curious and want to see what's going on. I understand, but I wouldn't lick that. That's gonna hurt. Shoot, that'll hurt you. Really? How does that taste good? Get back. <clears throat> Can't reach you. It's the strangest thing to like. It's 
rough. You are silly. I've got first strand I've got it pulled tight got it tied up here we're 12 inches off the ground here we're 12 inches off the ground at our H post I've got that tension pulled now I'm just going to slowly loosen this off here and all this right here this extra room from the strand here that I've got tied will tighten up and then we'll have our first strand One of the things I like to do when you stretch your first fence and you got to start driving your T-post in is take some paint, any type of marking paint, found some left over, and I'm going to measure every 10 feet, mark it on the actual barbed wire so that I know that I just go down the line here and start driving these T-posts in. Just uh, something to, you don't have to stop and measure 10 feet every time. So I'm gonna go through here and mark all these and then I'll come back through and I'll start driving the T-posts. Now the fun part begins driving the t-post got them marked um, first line stretch so we kind of use that as the straight line so we can just go right off of this um, first strand of barbed wire and drive the t-post every 10 feet so now it really begins put a little labor into it get a little upper body workout yeah but the good thing is is it rained this morning and uh, this ground has been pretty moist here so Hopefully these things drive pretty well. We hope, but I know what lies about a foot below the surface. Could be even shallower than that. That's uh, some of this stuff right here. Oh yeah, I do not miss that.
chilly day. Got the second line stretch. And so what we're doing here is because we're only doing five strands of barbed wire, what I've done here is I've gone on my bottom line, I've gone 13 inches off the ground. Not a lot of headroom here. But what we're doing is because these are six and a half foot tall T posts, so we've got to spread this out. You can kind of have a little bit more room down here. Some people probably don't like that. But bison typically don't stick their heads to the barbed bar, wire, knock on wood. But they, we haven't noticed them that they do it here. We got a bigger gap here between our first strand, our second strand. And then as we go up, the gaps will start getting smaller because we want to be able to have that top strand using the height of our T-post all the way up here to that first or second notch. I'm just going through here. Also something I do is we use these clips. I've got the first one clipped right here. Watch out for the polar bear. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go through every other T-post and I'll add these clips like I've done here already and i'll go every other so i'll just basically do all the ones that already have it because i already done that to the first strand and then i'll count my notches according to how high i want my depth i'll put my clip on it and then i'll go all the way down and then once i do that with all of the strands of barbed wire then we'll come back through and we'll put all of them on we do that just so we can get back and look at it and make sure that it's flowing with the land and that it's even on every T post. And then we'll come back through and tie all these up. This sucker's frozen right now. I'm glad I got this done before this all settled in. Whew. Because this is a second fence I built for, for the bison, I wanna give a price breakdown for you guys because i get a lot of emails and i get a lot of um, interest from people that are wanting to raise bison and uh, they're asking me questions and one of the main things that they always ask me is they want to talk about fencing uh, for an interior fence you guys know i just did five strands here and then i did a six and a half foot tall t-post so i'm gonna give you a price breakdown by the barbed wire by the roll and that was $74 for a roll. I get all of my stuff from Stillwater Milling in Davis. The T-Post, uh, $4.05. Not very expensive. If you get more, there's um, price breaks and they'll take off some change for you. Uh, the more T-Post you get. I only had to buy 50 of them. This isn't a very long stretch, guys. It was like exactly 520 feet worth of T-Post. That doesn't include the gates and the pipe that I set. I bought a two and seven eighths pipe. It was like a dollar fifty a foot at the time. Metal was a little high then. Two and three eighths is maybe just a little bit cheaper. I like to use two and seven eighths on our fence post and to hang off our gates off of. So you're talking in the dollar range for metal right now um, per foot. And uh, we buy the 30 foot joints of that. So uh, you get the clips that come with it, that come with uh, the barbed wire when you buy them this frozen looking clip right now but so i did 520 feet worth of t-post i drove 50 t-post and here's the math breakdown for you as we can talk about this just to give you an idea of cost because people ask me about costs all the time and i can't give you exact costs on what it'll cost you to build your fence this is how we do it this is an interior fence if we were building an exterior fence we're probably going to have taller t-post and we're gonna definitely have six strands of barbed wire. That's a given, we always will do that. I hope this helps you, gives you an idea of fencing. Everybody, it's always a talk when you're, when you're building fence for a bison, what do you do? And everybody has their own choice. Everybody does things different. A lot of people use electric fence, which is great. You gotta train the bison for that. I just discourage going out and spending a lot of money on the tall fences. You don't have to do that necessarily. You don't have to go out and buy the really tall fencing, like the 10 foot and do that. Now, some people do that and you feel safe about it and you've got the money and can afford it, then go for it. I know a lot of people are using the freestanding panels now, which those are great. Those are like 20 footers and they're solid. They're heavy, you gotta move them with the tractor. I love those, those are great. And those are super durable and bison tough. 
it's just really up to you and what you want to do for your bison there's a lot of people out there that do different stuff go visit go talk to those guys speaking of that with all the emails that i get and a lot of the questions that i get i really want to help you guys but here's what i'm going to start doing i may do it once or twice a month but i'm going to start doing this on tuesdays you guys let me know about this i'm going to start doing just a conversation a q a maybe if you want to call it i may do it once or twice a month at least once a month i'm going to start doing this and i'm going to do it uh, on a tuesday so i'm going to set that up and i'll let you know i'm probably going to do it through facebook because i'm just really familiar with it and it's easy to use and there's lots of people on facebook um, but you guys let me know what you think and uh, just a simple q a and that's easier for me um, I can email and do all that, but I just love talking bison. You know, I've done this for three years now. I'm a beginner still in the beginner stages of this. If you're interested in raising bison or you currently raise bison and have questions and just wanna talk, just wanna talk bison, maybe see how I do things, I'd love to chat with you. So um, I'll set that up and I'll give you a little bit more information on that uh, coming up in the next couple of videos. If you're interested in those kind of things and maybe we can talk someday. Thank you guys for watching.